Good evening, gentlemen, for the WBC Championship. We good here. You got your instructions in the dressing room? Touch them up and come out the bell. He's a devoted body puncher. And unlike some fighters, Emmanuel, he will throw in combination to the body. Man. We'll see whether it works. Emmanuel, the answer is 38 fights already. 37, 0, oh, and 1 at 8 low. Can Nalo. Incidentally, the word means cinnamon. Boxer. I mean, I look at his boxing techniques, his jab, his, his bunch of... But one of the flaws some people see in him is that he really doesn't use the jab. Sometimes I think he holds his hands a little too wide where you can catch it between the gloves. But other than Not at all unusual for Mexican fighters to turn professional. In Gomez looks like he has a real plan. Often. And evidently wasn't big purses and also I like that fight. And when you look at that body, I think they've made a very intelligent. He controls the distance and he does a variety of things. He'll step back on a plane. Yellow starts to get the jab going. And down goes Alfonso Gomez on a left hook. Short. Quick, short left hook. Great punch. So much of the plans of mice and men. Here you see a very accurate punch coming from it. Just, just accuracy and balance. And the punch that Tavo knocked, he started off with a looping left hand, and Roy put his hand to block it in some kind of way. Gomez brought in a plan, but now he's down two points. There's one of those comments. Again. It should have been pointed out to the referee. Perfect. Yeah, but again, Gomez seems to be winning the first half of the corner, saying, "Be patient, stick with it." Nothing happened. That sounded to me like, "Don't abandon the plan." With a good body punch, is going to end up going right on the top of the club. You think that was deliberate? Right. The son of a punch. That's what happened to Roy Jones the night that Antonio Tarver <laughs> jab then does Alvarez. One. Thinking of the grinning and the smiling and the slapping hands with fans as he came into the ring, I wonder if he has a cold focus tonight. Thank you. End of round one. Yeah, it, it was almost a freak knockdown. A legitimate, real one. A much better fight than I. And I think an undersized fighter who's like Jose Cotto, a natural 140-pounder, who was fighting Alvarez at likes Cortez as a referee and is surely pleased with his assignment. Harold, how do you have it so far? It's by the timing and the activity of this is a guy whose fights are going to be rough. Yeah, so right now he's got a lot of good defensive skills, but I'm surprised that Gomez is at the stage. I'll be honest, he fights. And by Gomez. One thing, his volume of punches is too long, meaning uh, uh, Alvarez. Yeah. Really well to the body. Larry, to answer your question about the cup, the inspector in the dressing room is supposed to make sure that the fight is cup, the top of the cup is he throwing. Now he begins to let his hands go a little bit. He doesn't think There's a good a, uppercut. He's at least knocked down, but he did get knocked down. So Canelo gets a 10-8 round. Rounds two and three. Uh, Canelo operates. What's going this. on? And he has a sense of urgency right now that shows that. Uppercuts in this round. Looks as though he's decided that he can get up the middle by coming up and under. Likely he can get that done. But Gomez is still not a puncher, so I mean, I think he feels very comfortable. Alvarez clearly believes he's the stronger fighter as he stands. Against Gomez. Him to sustain a good combination of punches, but on the other side of this fight, I'm sure he's not worried at all about Gomez's punching power. The question is, why isn't Alvarez active fighter? Gomez throwing more punches. Gomez, Gomez landing at a reasonable enough rate. Oh, Alvarez ended the first round by knocking Gomez down. Harold Letterman. Crowd trying to lift Canelo. Time. He's having a tough fight with Gomez. Gomez may be winning this fight. Now Alvarez, he's throwing with abandon when he lets that uppercut go, particularly. But some of them his jail. Meanwhile, Gomez has put together the best and most comprehensive plan I've ever seen from him. Yes, but he's really rushing in, rushing Which he is. Crazy he is. <laughs>
start in the fight they might have hoped for. And you can see that despite Alvarez has been very sporadic with his jab, Emmanuel. That's what he wanted to say, Jim. That was the first time I saw a jab in about three rounds. If he would jab more. He's landed some clean right hands. gun following Canelo Alvarez that we've ever seen him lose three rounds in a row on any scorecard. Totally. Go back in forefront of the fight. Gomez still a little bit as he lands his jab. Alvarez falls short with his twice in a row. Another short jab for Alvarez, but now he connects. Is in the white. This the last preliminary bout before our main event of this pay-per-view television. Very surprised the fact that he is really, for the most part, sending it. Gomez fighting a gutsy, smart fight. Good right hand, a big right cross across the top. Gomez is badly hurt. Canelo's got a chance to finish, and the referee's gonna stop it right away. All right, watch the uppercut land here. That starts the damage. Then the right cross, boom. Hurt? But he, he deserves, given what's happened in this fight, a chance. Canelo has a chance, but he hasn't quite finished him yet, in our view, at the moment when the referee steps in here to wrong. weather this particular storm. Alvarez did land some shots. But he didn't land nothing too much clean that devastating you know, after that Gomez first two or three punches. Yeah, he they were, if it went on, you have to believe he would have. I believe it. Myself, I mean, I could go on and on, but I think you said it already, Larry. It was it was a quick stop.